hello welcome back so what we're gonna do now the first thing we're gonna do is as we are working in our lab i will suggest you to scan the metasploitable machine if you have done that no problem we can go straight to the report start by going to scan let's go to tasks today i did a new scan of my metasploitable machine meta all right so now i want to open the report as you can see the severity 10 the highest severity here I will open the report. We need to analyze the vulnerabilities. Let's go to results to see all the results we have here. So we have some vulnerabilities here. Error login, passwordless login, all of this, okay? For our first example of how we can use this to exploit machines, how we can use it to exploit our targets, let's scroll down and we will see this vulnerability here. SSH brute force logins with default credential reporting. Let's open the severity 7.5. Let's open this vulnerability here. Let's open, click on it. And let's see the summary here. It was possible to log in into the remote SSH server using default credential. It means that during the scan, OpenVAS was able to detect that my target were using SSH protocol as we discussed during the, the, the training, SSH is a short name for Secure Shell and is used for remote access. So during this scan, OpenVest detected that the SSH is using the default password. As we can see here, it says that it was possible to log in with the following credentials, user and password. And as you can see in this first line, we have the username and this represents the password. And the solution here is to mitigate this. They suggest to change the password as soon as possible. So now we will not change, we will just exploit. What we're gonna do now, we will try to exploit this vulnerability. What is the vulnerability here? The vulnerability is that this protocol is using the default password. So we will try to exploit that. To do that, let's open the terminal. So if you want to access the SSH, in the same network, in the local network, you can you can do this. You can type sudo and the second command is to type the protocol SSH and the third step is to type the username we detected. As you can see here, we have the username is MSF admin, okay? And the password the same. So let's go and type here MSF admin. So now we need to indicate where we want to connect to. Here, let's go back. If you see here the host IP address, you see this is the IP address of my target. So this machine is the one that is vulnerable. So what I, I need now, I need this IP address. So what am I going to do now? I need to indicate okay, sudo sshmsf admin is the username where at, we need to put this single, at, and now we need to provide the IP of the host. Let me type it. And now let's hit enter. We need to provide the password for sudo. All right. So probably you will get this error. Do you remember when we were talking about SSH? I told you about the, the security key, the public and the private key. So when you get this error, it means that there are no relationship between my Kali, my Kali machine and my Metasploit table. It means that they are not sharing the cipher. Okay, that's why I'm not able to connect to my Metasploit table machine. But there is a workaround to solve this. What we're gonna do now? We will use a workaround to solve this. In the internet, you can find more than the one that I will show you now. So doesn't matter. Let's type this command. SSH and this is the workaround. As you can see here, don't forget to put this hyphen here. This is the workaround. Lowercase o host k algorithm equals plus SSH hyphen DSS. As you can see, this right here. So now let's go ahead and hit enter. Here we go. You see, we are connecting to this machine right here, my Metasploitable machine. We can go here. My Metasploitable my machine is running. As you can see right here, I can check again. Let me clean the screen first. 
here we go is asking now for the password and the password according to our report the password is the same as the username okay let's put here msf admin and hind enter okay as you can see here we successfully logged in the my metasploit table machine as you can see you see here msf admin at metasploit table we can use linux commands here from here ls for example let's see we have this folder here let's get in into that folder cd phone ls to see we see a mysql somewhere all right so we successfully managed to access the metasploit table machine okay we can confirm this let's open another tab here as you can see let's do ls here from my kali machine you will see i have this on my kali machine and metasploit table we have so let's go to my metasploit table machine just to confirm if we really succeed here is my metasploit table machine and let me do ls all right so you see vulnerable folder let's access this folder and ls again and you will see here the files my scale summer and so on so this is how we can access this and the good thing is some of the vulnerabilities we don't uh, especially need kali linux to access when we get the vulnerability for example what i want to say is that for example as i know this host machine and i know that in this host has a vulnerability because they are using the default username and password what i can do i can try to hack using windows let me open here cmd as we are using windows let's try to see if we will get the same error we got when we try to access from kali let's type it normally without sudo ssh and msf admin the username at i need to provide the host now the host ip and hind enter okay is asking for password msf admin all right as you can see here i successfully logged in metasploit table as you can see open ssh client okay ls you see vulnerable cd vol all right ls again so as you can see the danger of this because we discover using openvest that this machine has default passwords for protocol ssh we were able to access this machine and to exploit this machine okay this vulnerability we exploited this vulnerability as you can see here this is all for this lesson so this is how you can exploit the vulnerabilities some of them and others we will need to use of course a metasploit table for example we need to use payloads but for this one for example this was very simple so we just use the protocol we just need the, the terminal from linux or windows or even mac os doesn't matter all right we just need this this is all for this lesson see you in next lesson